Good morning, everyone. My name is Charity Hinman. Um, I'm a senior. <laughs> I'm a senior at Brockport High School, um, and while I don't always go to church here on Sundays, I am part of the youth group, and I absolutely love it. Um, so to start off, I kind of want to give you guys an idea of what I want to focus on, um, and that is the importance of communication with God and anchoring your life in that relationship with him. But in my approach to this, I want to incorporate some of my testimony. So I've grown up in a Christian home my whole life. It's what I was raised in. It's the atmosphere I've always known. And while I've had some people say to me that you just adopt your belief system that's around you growing up and assume it's true, I haven't. Um, I've been exposed to God or the idea of him for as long as I can remember. But it was never something that was forced on me. Yes, for any of you who know me, my dad is a pastor. Um, and yes, I go to church every Sunday. But I've made my faith my own. I've made a choice to anchor my life in God and that relationship for as long as I can remember. Over the course of my life, which I can't say has really been that long because I'm only 18, I've seen God work in ways that can't be coincidental. Whether that be lining up decisions and guidance with college, complete healing of my uncle from stage three lung cancer, or the fact that my mom was labeled completely deaf in one ear and eventually healed. Even that I'm here today in front of you, I see as a miracle, um, because when I was the age of eight, I actually had a huge incident where I fell out of a swing and um, several feet in the air and landed on my head and almost, I broke my skull and almost died. Um, so that traumatic event was <laughs> a big turning point, but I know that God has me here for a reason. All of these things and more have made it impossible for me to doubt God. And because I've never doubted his genuine love and the knowledge that he has a plan for my life, and because I've made my faith my own, I'm able to be confident in who I am and who he made me to be. I've been through scenarios in life that have pretty much forced me to anchor myself in God and primarily his love because without it I would be completely lost. One of the biggest things I've always struggled with is friendships. I hugely consider myself a people person um, and spending time with people is one of the biggest ways that I recharge. And while my love for people is something great that I feel God has put on my heart, it is also something that the devil likes to uh, challenge me with. <laughs> um, sorry, I lost my spot. Um, so this conflict was one of the most prominent for me in middle school, um, and often feeling like people didn't want me around or falsely convincing myself that I'm not cool enough to hang out with certain people or that they were intentionally avoiding me when in reality none of this was true. I now believe that the devil used these things, these lies and these misperceptions um, and placed them in my head to deceive me and make me feel unloved at times when this was totally not the case. But because I choose to follow God and align myself with his perspective, I know that these things are not true. However, if I chose to ignore God's voice and his voice speaking truth into my life, I would have wandered away from where I am and where he wanted me to be. Thankfully, I did not, and I have not wandered. And staying anchored in my relationship with God and always communicating with him has taught me of the goodness he provides and the amazing plan he has for my life. Through his grace, I know I am better off and more loved and more fulfilled than I would be otherwise. My relationship with God not only makes me who I am, but also pulls me away from things that I know would make me fall, things that are wrong. And God keeps me grounded and keeps me anchored. One of my favorite Bible verses is James chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. I can't think of a more applicable verse for this topic. No one wants to feel left out or lonely. No one wants to feel not good enough, and God knows this, and that's why he's here to replace those lies with his truth. But we will not know this truth if we never communicate with him. I chose to speak about this topic because I know this is something that God has not only put on my heart, but it's something he calls all of us to, and that is to communicate with him and make time with him a priority. For me personally, I've always been able to stay anchored in Christ my whole life, but that does not mean it's always easy. It's so hard to make time sometimes for God because our schedules get busy and they get packed and we have other things going on. There's a phrase that I've heard many times. It's called busy is the new lazy. And as teenagers, we often are told that we need to be involved in this and we need to be involved in that and like have a super busy filled schedule. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in that that we forget about the time that we need to spend with God and what we need to prioritize with him. Sometimes I've struggled with the idea that my testimony is a very simple one, one lacking in inspiration. I grew up in a Christian home. I've had my faith in God my whole life, and I've never walked away. There was never a hugely dark point in my life where I can say, that's where I've been, look where I am now. But my story, is one where, my story isn't one where God has saved me out of something, 
but it's a story of what he has saved me from. And because of that, I can testify that God is good and that when we communicate, it is possible to stay anchored in him your whole life. Because God doesn't move. He is an anchor for our souls and our identity.